Friendly greetings everybody, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be giving you guys the best Minecraft live streaming OBS settings of 2021. If you guys want the best Minecraft live streaming settings for 2021, make sure to watch all the way to the end of this video so that I can give you guys the best settings. I have asked around to multiple YouTubers and I've been live streaming for over three years. So if you want my suggestion for the absolute best settings to use, then continue watching. And enjoy so here we have our OBS first you want to make sure you open your OBS and click on settings right down here you automatically go to the general screen you can just change your theme and set your language right here and that's what's basically gonna matter you can also change the snap sources to edge of the screen or snap sources to other sources those are really all I will normally use in the general you're gonna want to go to stream off the bat you're gonna want to put YouTube, YouTube Primary Gaming, or if you stream on Twitch, make sure to set your server as Twitch, and then put your stream key right here. You should be able to get your stream key from YouTube live streaming or Twitch live streaming, and if you don't know how to do that, then you can go watch a tutorial on that as well. After you do that, you're gonna wanna click apply, and then we're gonna go ahead and go to output right here. We immediately get many options. So first, make sure your output mode is on advanced. You're gonna wanna make sure it's on 1920 to 1080 if you have a pretty good computer and wanna stream in 1080p. And if you have a medium or lower computer, you might just wanna go with 720 and do 1280 by 720 that gives you 720p. So that's all depending on what kind of computer you actually have. Rate control set is CBR. Now my bitrate is very high because I have a very good internet connection and computer. But remember, this is for YouTube live streaming. And normally for Twitch, you don't want anything over 6,000. So I suggest if you have very good internet and computer, set it at 6,000. Medium, set it maybe on 4,500. And lower, you might want to set on 3,500. Now, you can obviously play around with this. This is one of the things that really depends on what kind of computer and what kind of internet you have. So I can't really tell you how good this would actually work depending on what computer you have because I don't really know. I also don't know your internet connection. So we're just going to, you know, do some normal baselines. This is the main thing you're going to want to mess with if you are getting lag, though. For your preset, if you have a very good computer with good internet, max quality, medium do quality and pretty low do performance set your profile to high turn off look ahead turn on psycho visual tuning gpu set to zero max b frame set to two you're going to want to go to audio after you click the apply button right down there right here you can select your headphones for desktop audio and desktop audio 2 if you have a desktop audio 2 and then for your mic you can go ahead and set the microphone that you plan on using click apply and go to video so right now because i'm recording i have a numerator of 240 denominator of one because i'm recording this video in 240 fps but for live streaming you won't want that to be the case because if you try to live stream in 240 fps you will get severe lag spikes so what you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to put 60 after you select fractional fps value put 60 over denominator one or you can just go to common fps value and set it to 60. either way it works just fine for your downscale filter you will want to set it as linear because i'm recording I have it set as bilinear. This you want to set right here as your base canvas resolution. You want to set it to whatever resolution your monitor is. And output scaled resolution is what you want to set if you want 1080 or 720p. So remember, in output, whatever you chose for there, you want to also set here. Click apply. Go to hotkeys. I'm just doing a quick example of what hotkeys are. For start recording and stop recording, I have two different hotkeys that I selected, but I don't recommend for streaming to actually do that. After you click apply, if you wanted to make any hotkeys and click on advanced, we can see our process priority and our video. You're gonna wanna put your process priority on above normal and then copy all the settings for video that I have right here. If you want, you can also make your color range partial. Either way, alert, it works pretty well, but you do want your color space as 709. After that, you click apply and click OK, and that's gonna be it for this video. If you wanna see my OBS recording settings that you can see right here in this video, I've got the nice smooth everything and everything's looking all nice. I'll put an info card in the top right, and at the end of the video, you'll also be able to see that video and just click on it. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this OBS recording tutorial for 2021 Minecraft. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Raw, remember to love your neighbor. And bye, everybody.